So what is the HPA axis then? Fancy term is the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. And this is the, the kind of circuit of when the nervous system of the body, when you perceive a threat, a hypothalamus, and these all secrete things to stimulate other things. So the hypothalamus uh, secretes the affect the pituitary, which then the pituitary secretes uh, things to affect the adrenals, which then releases adrenaline and reporters like those stress hormones, uh -huh. so that then you can respond appropriately to a threat, right? To either fight off that line or run away to get the safety, and then we should get back to it, and that should kick in and get more balanced. There. Okay, so what exactly causes dysfunction in it, that? It's the overuse of that, right? Okay. And so if we're constantly triggering the nervous system, right? If there's constant triggers to the nervous system, which constantly feeds that HPA axis, and if we're constantly using it, the human body and the nervous system is really intelligent. Because if we're gonna use something over and over, it's gonna get very efficient at it. Mm -hmm. And so if we're utilizing trigger in that system, it just becomes so much more efficient than the rest recovery, mm -hmm. and it starts to dominate, and we get this imbalance where that HPA axis, is really what I call the, the gas pedal, mm -hmm. gets so strong, we start to develop more of a Ferrari engine. Mm -hmm. We're really efficient there, but we got bicycle brakes, and it's hard to break that cycle. Okay, that makes sense.